Schmieder Vergig Krodux is operating an electric arc furnace which produces a maximum of 50 tons of liquid steel per heat. 100% sorted scrap in line with the requirements is used for melting. The tap to tap time is about two and a half hours. The furnace is then tapped with subsequent alloy refinement and purity purging in the ladle furnace. Thereafter, vacuum degassing takes place in a VD VOD equipment before the heat is transferred for bottom pouring. The steel ingots are optimally matching the weight and size of the subsequent forgings. For tool steels, square or rectangular ingots are the optimum solution. In order to fulfill the maximum demands in terms of purity and homogeneity, Schmiedevergik Krodux is able to integrate an electroslag remelting process prior to the forging. The ingot is transported to the forge at a temperature of approximately 700 degrees Celsius. After heating up to 1200 degrees Celsius in the annealing furnace, the forging process takes place on the 60 mega Newton press. The press manipulator can handle accurate all kinds of ingots produced. Once the manipulator has grasped the forged end, the actual forging procedure begins. 60 mega Newton press capacity, suitable optimized forging tools, an experienced press team and state-of-the-art computer programs secure the fulfillment of the utmost demands of the world market. All process data is gathered, evaluated and constantly developed, so that Schmiedevergik Krodux will measure up to the increasing requirements at all times. Top and bottom discard of the forging are cut in a modern flame cutting equipment conceived in accordance with the latest environmental protection guidelines. Heat treatment takes place in modern bogey hearth furnaces calibrated to the most stringent specifications. Furthermore, the temperature of our oil and water tanks are controlled and monitored. In order to comply with the high-level tool steel benchmarks in terms of hardness consistency, we also invested in furnaces which, due to special circulation, can guarantee a temperature consistency hitherto unknown. After heat treatment, the hardness is tested using a modern hardness testing facility. The raw surface is first milled and in the next step the test is performed. The hardness value is then automatically displayed and recorded via an optoelectronic system. Ultrasonic testing takes place after the heat treatment and can be performed on the raw forged surface or after milling in the machined condition. To achieve the peak levels of hardness consistency, more face hardness tests are performed with portable equipment after sawing to supplied length. Test procedures such as tensile testing, notched and unnotched impact testing or microscopic structure examination are also possible. Final operations are the preservation and identification of the forged blocks. After quality control, dispatch clearance is authorized and delivery to the customer takes place.